Y'all came away with the victory today, Chris. 19 to 6. What's going out there on the offense? Tell, talk to me. How did the offense look so good today? We was looking more uh, motivated. You know, um, we came out, we know what we had to do. And uh, we got it done, man. 19 to 6. 19 to 6. Is this going to do an offspring on the rest of the victories? Got Louisiana coming in next week. I mean, how y'all going to prepare this week? Yeah, we, we just going to. Um, you know, work hard and practice, get our routes down, pack, uh, make sure we got everything memorized, and just do what we do. Let's Saturday. talk to CB. What's up, CB? What's up, yo? We got the victory today. Man, we got the V. <laughs> and you did it without your starting quarterback. I don't have a starting quarterback. Oh, so you don't have a starting quarterback? Nobody on my team scored. Okay, so what was the key to today's victory? In the ugly weather, and we put up 19 points and basically shut them out on defense. Like the sixth man, man. We had the sixth man. <laughs> Jesus was with us. Jesus was on that ball all day today. Coach J, I mean, give me your evaluation of the performance. Well, you know, it's, it's Cardinals is a class organization, you know. Like I said, Coach uh, Boygans didn't even have his starter quarterbacks to still pull out a victory. Right. And our big thanks to that was to, uh, you know, defense. Defense ended up scoring twice. Talk about, talk about Super Day. How, how, how was he in an impact on Super, today's game? Super Dave with limited practice came in and ran the plays to the best of his ability. <laughs> but let's talk about the one play Super Dave ran, Chris. You called a play. He, he he bumped into his own man, and he fell forward for three yards. Was that a design play? No, I think he just got confused. <laughs> <laughs> he bumped. Ain't no wood. No way. Super Dave bumped into his own man and fell forward for three yards. Was that a design play? What a design play, but we got positive yards. You got out. positive so, yards out. That's all I can ask for. As long as we're going positive and we ain't getting knocked back for negative yards, that's all I can ask for. We came away with the victory. What was the key to the day? Why, why, why everything looked like it switched up today? I mean, I think our defense stepped up pretty well. I think we still got a few kicks in our, in our defense, a few kicks in our offense we need to work with. But, I mean, all in all, we got our first victory. Hope we're going to roll on to our second victory and go on and make it to the Super Bowl, man, again. And hell up, man. Caught us all the way, man. Last man, you want to meet the line, man. No wood. How are we going to prepare going into this week against another Louisiana team? We seem to always struggle when we play the Louisiana team. How are we going to prepare this week? We're just going to execute, man. Keep working on the things that we need to work on. Uh, continue to just play ball. Hopefully these guys come ready to play. Every week we don't know what we got. All right. If the game is close, will Super Dave get a chance to get into the game and play? It's a possibility. It just depends on who show up to play. He said... He's 17 of 19 in the red zone. That's a good stat. Yeah, that's that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> but not good enough for us, man. Talk about Dirty as a quarterback. He he was a starting quarterback at Tennessee. Uh -huh. Played with Peyton Manning. Yes. Won a national championship. Why isn't he getting more reps on the on the corner squad? Well, Dirty is getting in there and uh, making plays we can, but Dirty has a really hurt good. So it's really help. It's really hurting his whole follow through as a quarterback. Okay. You know, like your pitcher need the whole body, same thing with the quarterback. The, the, his quarterback stance is what everybody talks about. He looks like he got gout when he's sitting in the shotgun. <laughs> I mean, is that... This, this <laughs> well, it may look like that, but that's just his mechanics. I don't. I hope he don't have gout. <laughs> you know, but, uh, so tell me, how did this man next to you, Chris Easley, you say he gets out there, he runs his routes, but sometimes he don't know what routes he's running. How, how, how can you improve on that? Well, easily we'll work with him. He sometimes he get confused between his right and left. I blame the school system. You know how they say nobody left behind? Well, he left behind. He left behind. Yeah. Chris, how are you gonna improve on running the wrong routes? Man, I, by listening and paying, you know what it be? I be so excited. Like, like the point is, yeah, I be so excited because I know it's gonna work. Like it's a it's a it's a for show that I mess up and I gotta. I gotta stop doing that. As you can see, it's a regular day. Pan to her real fast. Go Cardinals. Snag a tooth in the mouth. All right, but anyway, I'm gonna just try to improve. Coach CB, Coach Day, they working with me, man. We won a day, hopefully we don't lose no more, man. We got like 14 games ahead of us, right, Coach? So when it's all said and done, what are we looking forward to, Chris, next week? We're gonna come to play football, man. Hopefully. Come to play football, get more Ws.
732. Get more W's, man. The last person you want to see coming through that goddamn line. What's your number? Number 90 goddamn self, man. Remember that. Write it down, take a picture. I don't give a fuck. I'm going to be in your face the whole you game. Get Big E. <laughs> Big E don't know what the hell going on. He got the... <laughs> nigga look like he drinking a malt. That's top shelf right there. <laughs> Houston Cardinals in the house. That's L top shelf. I'm right here with the, my man Ocho Cinco Shorty Dude. How you doing, man? I'm good, man. Last week you picked up Whitney at the funeral. Talk to me about it. Oh, I see. There you go, man. <laughs> Here they are right here, ladies and gentlemen, the twins. <laughs> Tell me, how did it feel to get the call to go pick up Whitney Houston out of the tub last week? <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, it wasn't a good feeling. It was an honor, but it wasn't a good feeling. You remember when you graduated, the greatest love of all was like the class song. I mean, to, to, to see her laid out like that, how did it feel? I mean, an icon gone. Devastating, heartbreaking. You know, we, we lost another angel. Lost another angel, but today it's a football game right here. Yeah, going up against the Ravens game three of the season. Talk to me, what's going to happen today? Well, we're gonna, we got a lot of things we got to fight against uh, besides not only the uh, other team. Yes, we got sir. got the officials, we also got the weather. Oh, yeah, so that's right. That's definitely going to be a key factor in this. Uh, points will be a premium. Who's ever going to score, you know, uh, is going to definitely have the advantage. So. Okay. And talk to me. What, now, what's going on with the Cardinals? You know, we got a we got a pretty good roster, but it seems like everything is not clicking. We still got about 13 games to go, so it's still enough time starting today to get everything uh, going. But I mean, what is it going to take us to get clicking all on the same page? We got a lot of superstars, but everybody's not playing as a team. Well, that's just the key. We, we got a lot of superstars. There's a lot of individuals on the team. We just have to learn to be as a team. And how and how do we go about doing that with everybody winning championships like you? You're a Super Bowl winner, winning championships and everything. Do we have to put our egos in check and all play as one? Is that the key? You said it, you hit the nail on the head right there. It's, it's about it's a mind game, it's a mindset. Okay. And you check your egos at the door. You know, you, all the individuals, accolades, that's good. What you did last year, that's all well and fine. But it's, it's what you're doing today. What you're okay. Doing now. And once you learn to uh, put that to the side, come together cohesively as a team, you know, the further, the further along we'll get. You know, it's coming. It's a slow process. It's coming, but it's a long season. Okay. So uh, we, we'll be okay. A Texas A&M standout, a Super Bowl quarterback, a champion. Super Dave, thanks for coming to the show. You look like you ready to hit me. Talk to me. What, what can we expect today against the Louisiana Eagles, who think they are one of the top teams here in the craft league? Oh, yeah. Come on, win. Guarantee? Yes, sir. We can look for the W. Talk to me, doctor. You look like a little baby out there on the field. A little baby, man. Yeah. I've been playing for a long time. Gamblers, Oilers here. So you got you got experience behind you. Experience. What can we expect today? What did y'all study in film session about these Louisiana Eagles? We about to open up the plays. We about to open up the whole games. Last Every week, y'all played an excellent game. Just a few mistakes here or two, especially the reverse at the end. Uh -huh. But I know the coach called that, so I'm blaming yeah. that on the coach that won y'all fault. But how have y'all corrected that this week? Uh, just play discipline ball. Just play discipline. You know, stay on your guys. Okay. Go to the second level, and we open it up for Bean, everybody to come through. So, a running back is only good as his offensive line. You, you. And y'all don't hardly get no credit, but it's y'all guys that's taking the beating in the punches every play. Oh, yeah, it's the trenches. It's the trenches. Y'all in the trenches for four quarters. Talk to me, Doc. Talk to me, man. The 400 Club. So, 400 Club, how, how are we going to come away with a victory? I mean, so much talent on this team. So much talent that's been slipping away, it's got to change right now. You, Moses, you know what? That's what I'm going to call y'all when y'all look the hoes. Moses in the rear seat. That's a new That's a good one. All right. 400 right there. 400. Say something before I go. 77. The baby right there. The baby face. That's what I'm going to call you. All right. Thanks, guys. To be a boss, I'm right here with the boss, Roland Robbins. What's up, Doc? Man, you already know it's time to get work. You know what the boss do? Roland, take off. The problem that I'm having with this offense is they don't get you the ball enough. Everybody knows you're the all-star caliber receiver slash tight end slash DE slash whatever you want. Why are you not getting the ball more? Especially when we get inside the red zone. It's a process, you know. Coach, I believe in Coach knows what he's doing, so it's just a process. You know, we gonna run them, run them, run them, and then unexpected. Right when it's you know unexpected, they you throw me in. 
Because you guaranteed, you like an ATM machine. You go to the ATM, punch the number in, you guaranteed to get us yards or a touchdown. And on defense, you're a beast. They need to get you the ball more. That's what we were talking about last week in the booth. Uh, is that going to be executed in the plan this week against the Eagles? Because these games count. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping so, man. You know, I'm just continuing doing the things that Coach wanted to do. And I know when he called my number, I'm going to execute. So, like I said, it's just a process. I'm just waiting on Coach to call my number. When it's time for him to call my number, I'm going to execute. They playing your song in the background. You the boss, my man, Roland Roberts. Talk to you later, Doc. Oh, yeah. All right.